Hey everyone, welcome to the Mariel Header. My name is Mariel, and in today's video, I'm gonna review the Takasumi Detox. Now, if you haven't heard about the Takasumi Detox, I don't know where you've been because every cruelty free and vegan blogger has promoted this at some point or another. I first heard about the Takasumi Detox uh, on Logical Harmony, then on Wife Life. A big issue in the cruelty-free and vegan community is deodorant, believe it or not. I feel that everyone goes through this process of figuring out what's going to work for their armpits now. After learning about not how toxic antiperspirants are, but, but how there are better alternatives out there. And then there's the issue of finding a deodorant that works for you that is by a cruelty-free company. It's a whole thing. So when I went cruelty-free and vegan, I was very concerned about this whole deodorant issue. Fortunately, I'm not the kind of person that um, has given off a very strong odor. And I've never had a big issue with underarm wetness. I feel like puberty was kind of kind to me in that aspect. Like remembering back in my teen days, my early teen days, comparing what was going on with my body, with my friends' bodies. Um, armpit stuff wasn't that big of an issue for me. I actually started wearing deodorant, not because I really needed it, but because I just wanted to. So I've always been very accustomed to having dry, odor-free pits. Later on in my adult life, I started using uh, very strong antiperspirants because I didn't want a trace of odor or wetness. I wanted my pits to be bone dry. So I even went as far as to use like those clinical strength deodorants, <laughs> even though I didn't really need them. Yes, by the time I was in my 20s, I noticed that my body chemistry changed. I was getting a little bit more damp in my underarms. If I was doing very heavy exercise, if I was out in the sun, if I underwent a lot of stress, I would get a little odor. P.S. It is really weird telling the whole world about my body odor. This is just ridiculous. But it's something that's completely natural and it has to be talked about, so here we are. <laughs> when I transitioned into being cruelty-free and vegan, letting go of my old deodorant was really tough. I didn't want to give it up. As a matter of fact, I still bought it on occasion for special occasions where I just didn't want to risk getting a little smelly. So yes, bad vegan, bad vegan. So in this whole process of trying on I don't know, at least 12 different types of deodorant, I was never completely satisfied. I tried so many brands, all of the ones you know, all of the ones people recommend, and all of them just made me feel like I was applying a sugary paste that would just kind of leave a scent behind, then it would disappear, and by the end of the day, my shirt was just either sticky by the deodorant or I just smelled like a little acrid and a little flowery. That's gross. I also started using the Pacifica underarm deodorant wipes. I'll put the product name in the description box. Those were actually kind of helpful. They were really good at, you know, getting rid of odor. They left a nice scent behind, but they still weren't preventing odor and wetness. So one of the most popular deodorants that I used uh, were the crystal deodorant that I know many of you may have heard about. That was kind of okay, but it wasn't long lasting on me. Then I used the Schmitz deodorant, which I love the scent, but it left a residue on my shirts that I hated. Like, it wasn't visible, but you could feel it. It was kind of thick and just gross for me, for me. Um, then I tried the La Vanilla deodorant, which I know Jaclyn Hill at some point recommended because it smelled so good, and it does. It smells delicious, but it was, for me, it was basically just like pit perfume. Um, it didn't work for me. Then the last deodorant I tried that was the closest to working <laughs> was the Kiss My Face deodorant. I tried the stick and the spray. 
they were okay. I think the stick worked better, but I still wasn't 110% completely satisfied. So in my desperation, I found Logical Harmony's recommendation of this detox kit. So I thought I would give it a try. So I went ahead, I did the 30 day detox and then some. I'm still using the products uh, in the kit and it's been an interesting experience. I wrote everything down. I tried to vlog but it was just kind of pointless because honestly the talking points are like fast. I'm just gonna tell you how it went. I'm just gonna read some information that comes with the kit just to help you understand what it is, what it's about. This kit helps you transition from using antiperspirants to natural deodorant. So the point of this is to encourage you to stop using stuff that's gonna clog up your pits, possibly make you smell even worse in the future, and help you transition to more natural deodorant and help your body kind of balance itself out. So as this pamphlet here explains, Antiperspirants contain toxic ingredients including aluminum which block your sweat glands and thereby prevent you from sweating, which is what I loved, but clearly it's not a good thing. Aluminum also traps toxins within the body, not fun. With natural deodorant, your underarms are free to breathe. As a result, you may sweat more and experience some breakthrough odor, which is normal. But you have to allow your body to go through the stages of detox so you can have, I don't know, the armpits of your dreams. In this kit, you get a teeny tiny deodorant, which is basically a travel size. They have a larger size deodorant if you choose to just keep using these. Uh, this is the Juicy Bamboo Scent. This is the most delicious smelling deodorant I've ever owned. Kind of looks like this. It is a little gray deodorant and I'm like up to here with deodorant so I don't have a lot left I'm gonna need to buy another one then we get a black charcoal soap which is this guy right here yes this is used I know I'm sorry but I have to show you and then you get this charcoal detox effervescent hot bath it's a small little bag of this charcoal detox that you sprinkle into your bath and it helps, you know, extract toxins from your body, helping the detox process go faster. You also get some little info pamphlets uh, in the kit, which are really helpful. The box also has information about what you're kind of getting yourself into. I was concerned about a couple of things. One is this month of detox going to be me freaking about um, being swe sweaty and smelly. Um, was it a good idea to do it on days that were going to be a little bit hot? Should I wait for the winter to do it? Is it okay to do it in the summer? I also wondered what the process was. I think it is completely fine to do this detox any time of the year because depending where you are, I mean, if you live in a hot climate, you're going to have to put up with being a little bit more sweaty. But if possible, just don't do it in like the hottest months of the year wherever you are. Try to do it in the spring where the weather's a little bit lighter or in the winter or even in the fall. I did this whole detox right before it started to get hot here in San Diego so it was perfect timing. So in this handy little postcard you could say uh, are the stages of detox and uh, this is what pretty much happens. So in the first week you're gonna feel like everything's working, you have no order at all and everything's going fine. And that pretty much happened to me as soon as I started the detox. I think the best product in this detox kit is the charcoal soap. I don't know what kind of black magic it has in it. It's probably just charcoal. What I would do was I would wake up in the morning, I would scrub my pits, and at night I would also scrub my pits. This was basically my new deodorant. The soap felt like it really just created a blank slate. It pulled out whatever was accumulated from past deodorants. It left me feeling super clean. Like there's no other way to explain it except you just feel really clean. Oh, it just doesn't know. You don't have to use the soap twice a day, but I just wanted to, I had no negative side effects. So that's up to you. If you're very smelly, probably use it up to three. I don't know. But the instructions recommend cleaning your pits once a day with the soap. So. 
after I put it on, I felt like I didn't even need to put on deodorant, but of course I did. I would just do a few swipes of the Juicy Bamboo Charcoal Deodorant and it would give off like this really pleasant smell. This doesn't smell like anything, so the combo was very pleasant. And I have some notes on my phone, so let's see. During the first week, all of my notes kind of say, woke up, I feel clean, no smell, no sweat. Use soap in the morning, put on deodorant, stay dry and odorless all day. Use a soap again at night. And that just happened for the first week. And I'm trying to see, like in the first week, here's a note that says, I went to the gym without deodorant. I did cardio and weights, got very sweaty, but my pits didn't smell, were mildly damp. I came back, I showered, used a charcoal soap, put on the de deodorant and was fine for the rest of the day. So even on days where I was getting really sweaty, I pretty much felt fine. I didn't smell, I didn't leave an odor on my shirt. I was very impressed. I thought this was great because that had never happened with another vegan deodorant before. Then on week two, you'll feel like you're getting some breakthrough odor. This says, uh, experiencing some odor is normal as your underarms are detoxing. The deodorant booster bar will ensure that you do not experience the smelly side effects of a detox. I was like, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe it won't get any smellier. But like clockwork, on the first day of week two, this is what I wrote, woke up with slightly damp pits. I feel slightly smelly. <laughs> that was really interesting that just like the instructions say like around week two you might feel some breakthrough order but it wasn't that bad. Other notes I have for this week. I'm not as smelly as I expected. Then there is forgot to put on deodorant so I went around the whole day just with the soap. Um, I walked in the sun for a few hours. Pits definitely got a little damp and left odor on my shirt. That's pretty much it. Every other day was fine. Now for the first week, I forgot to do the detox bath. So this could have contributed to the fact that I was getting a little more odor, odor and wetness in the second week. I did do a hot bath with almost a third of the activated charcoal for the bath. I soaked in it for like 20 minutes and I just drained the tub and then just and then just went on to take a shower. So that was that. Maybe I should have done this in the first couple of days, but this does recommend doing the bath every two weeks. Fine. So for week three, this says that you might sweat more than normal. Your body is still going through the detox to get rid of toxins and bacteria. Some of my notes say, I haven't had any dampness or smells. Today I decided to put on a crystal roller deodorant that I had somewhere in a drawer and I felt good and clean. This is when I started to think that maybe the best product in this whole detox thing is the soap. Then let's see, I had a little stress sweat and I was a little smelly at the end of the day. I feel like I have left odor on my shirts. At the end of week three, the weather just suddenly changed here in San Diego. It got really hot, really humid. And I did feel like my pits were a little bit damp, but I didn't feel any scent in particular. And then week four, you'll it, you'll notice that the odor and sweating has subsided. This was true for me. I did another charcoal detox hot bath. When I woke up before I put on deodorant, I kept using the soap and right before I went to bed, I experimented with the crystal deodorant and the kiss my face deodorant. And I feel like they all kind of have the same effect as the Takasumi deodorant. So I feel like if you already have a deodorant that you really, really like, you could get away with combining it with the rest of the products in the detox and you may do fine. Now this was just my experience. Maybe this whole detox will only work for you if you use the three products. Now since the end of my 30 day detox, I've continued to use the soap morning and night. I also use a Juicy Bamboo deodorant and on occasion I switch it up just to go through my other deodorants. Overall, I'm very happy that I tried this kit. I would recommend it to anyone who is having a tough time adjusting to natural deodorants. The most magical product in this detox system is the black charcoal soap. I believe you can buy all of the things you can find in the kit individually on the website. 
if you only have enough cash to buy one thing, I would say get the soap. I'm still feeling good. I haven't felt the need to use my antiperspirant. So I think I'm finally going to toss that, finally, get rid of it. And I'm going to stick to my natural deodorants. Since you have to order this online, this isn't something I found in a store, I think I'm going to still keep maybe one of my natural deodorants that I can find anywhere where they sell natural deodorants. And I'll still buy these little guys uh, for travel maybe. I really like how they smell. And since they're charcoal, I feel like they just keep contributing to this elimination of toxins. So that's gonna be my process from now on. I don't think I'm gonna rebuy the Charcoal Detox Effervescent Hot Bath. What do you call these, like bath salts? I don't know, they're not bath salts. And yeah, that is it for this review. I hope you have found this helpful. I do not have an affiliate link or anything. I'm just someone who tried this out, but Takasumi Detox, if you wanna sponsor me, I mean. I'm down. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share this video with a friend. I would really appreciate it. I guess I will see you in the next video and until then, bye.